Hey there, in this video I want to review the Kraken platform specifically for Canadians and how it compares to 18 other cryptocurrency exchanges that I've been testing over the last couple years. So we're going to show you how Kraken compares to the competition and the reasons you may want to use it and the reasons you don't want to use it. So overall, I ranked Kraken 8th place. So I think there are better, cheaper platforms for Canadians, which I'll cover in a second. But there are a couple of reasons that I would use it and let's go over those. So what are some reasons you would want to to use Kraken. Well, the first one is for staking crypto. So if you look on the screen, if you want to stake any of these coins here on a centralized platform, Kraken is one of the best options just because of its security and reputation in the industry. And they also offer a fair number of coins. So if you want to stake crypto on Kraken, these are the coins that are available. And these are the rates at the time of this video. And they are adding more. Last year, they only had, I think like six coins. So now they have a lot more. And if we look at Kraken's security, just to show you how it compares, Kraken is right here. It was founded in 2011. So it's one of the oldest cryptocurrency exchanges. There's rumors that they might go public this year or next year. They use cold storage and they've been around the longest and they've also never had any hacks or incidents because they're very security focused. Now they don't have an insurance policy, but they're also very good at just communicating their security. For example, if we click on the security page here, you can actually just see this page and check out everything that they do in regards to security. So overall, Kraken is a very reputable reputable and secure platform founded in 2011 and that's one reason I would use it for staking is because you have to hold your crypto on this platform and if you want to be staking on a centralized platform you want to choose something that's secure. Now the other reason I would use Kraken is they have a lot of good pro features for just advanced traders in general. If you click on this tab here they have an OTC desk, they have futures trading and they have a Kraken terminal for professional traders. I personally don't do any like advanced trading but if you do Kraken does look like a good option for that. Now, those are basically the main reasons I would use Kraken for staking and advanced trading. Now, how does it compare to the competition? Well, if we go to fees and spread, Kraken does have very low spreads. It was actually fourth place at 0.05% for Bitcoin the day I tested it. So once you have money on the platform, it is relatively inexpensive. However, the main thing is they have a 1.5% deposit fee, and that's what made the total purchase fee on the platform 1.6% when you're using Canadian dollars. If we filter that from top to bottom, the total fee to buy Bitcoin on Kraken was eighth place when you're using Canadian dollars. So if you want the best on-ramp and off-ramp for Canadian dollars and just to buy like Bitcoin and crypto as cheaply as possible, these were the top three cheapest options up here, NDAX, Virgo, CX, Newton. So if Kraken removed the 1.5% fee, then it would be a different story, but that's what it is right now. Now, if you want to cash out your crypto, Kraken was second place. This is for selling Bitcoin and cashing out to your bank account using Canadian dollars, and that was point 0.37% plus a $10 fixed fee to withdraw, which you can use e-transfer. They recently added e-transfer. So overall, if you want to buy crypto as cheaply as possible, the 1.5% fee makes it a little expensive and there are better options for that. However, once you have money on the platform, they do have low spreads and lots of liquidity. It is bigger than the Canadian based platform because Kraken is a global exchange offered in many countries. So they have a lot more liquidity on the platform, which is how they offer these lower spreads. The other reason I didn't put Kraken higher is is because if you want to deposit crypto on the platform, which is how I recommend funding your account, so you can avoid that expensive 1.5% deposit fee. If you're gonna deposit crypto, you might as well use Binance or KuCoin in my opinion, because these platforms also offer lots of features, but hundreds of more cryptocurrencies than Kraken. So if you're gonna deposit crypto anywhere, I think it's just better to use Binance or KuCoin. And then you get like all the same features, advanced trading, reputable platforms and stuff like that, but for even lower spreads. So like Binance is the biggest cryptocurrency exchange in the world by trading volume, their spread was actually the lowest. And same with KuCoin, they have a 0% spread on Bitcoin and they have lower trading fees than Kraken. So however, if you're staking, I still think Kraken is one of the best centralized platforms to do it on. If we do a quick walkthrough of the platform and go to the home page here, this is what it looks like. You can see I've been staking a little bit of Cardano. This is what it looks like when you get rewards. Every week it's paid out. So this is the main dashboard. They have kind of like a simple trading interface here. If you wanna buy like, let's say one Bitcoin, there's a simple way to do that here, or you can toggle the advanced 
trading and then they also have pro trading terminal here now in addition you can click on the prices tab which will open a new tab here and this will show you all the different cryptocurrencies that are available and of course we want to filter it to Canadian and then we can look at the list here these are all the coins that are offered now some of these aren't available for Canadians if you click buy and sell it'll say not supported in the region such as this one so just be aware of that and then they have the funding tab so you can click deposit and Canadian dollars and this is where you would e-transfer funds into your account however I recommend buying crypto on you know Newton Endax or Virgo CX and depositing crypto and if you want to deposit crypto you would just click fund deposit and then you would just search for the crypto asset so usually I just transfer over XLM from Newton because it's free and instant and then I would trade it for whatever coin that I want another good thing about Kraken is they have very good support so if you want to contact support they have 24 7 live support and out of all the support teams I've tested Kraken is one of the better ones they offer phone support you can do email or you can open a live chat as well which is very good however that's the overview it's a great centralized platform for staking and earning rewards because of its security it has advanced features and industry leading support however I would only deposit crypto onto the platform instead of funding with Canadian dollars because it'll be a lot cheaper I'll put a link to Kraken below as well as all the other resources and this page if you want to check it out if you have any other videos you want to see or questions about crypto in Canada please leave a comment below and if you want to compare these platforms yourself I'll also link this in the description thank you for watching